hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see how to copy a ps file to an existing ps file if it's an existing ps file we can't give a new catalog delete we have to give either share old or mod so let's see the difference between these three either can give disk equal to share or old or mod if you give share it's like multiple read and multiple write so multiple people can read at the same time and multiple people can write at the same time it's like a notepad you would have if you have seen carefully a notepad can be opened multiple times and in all the multiple screens you can edit so it's like a share you can give share which is a very safer mode otherwise you can use old old means either one person can write or multiple people can read suppose if i hold the file in another screen if i submit it the job will not run so because job needs exclusive access old means i need exclusive access so one less and otherwise you have exclusive access you can't edit the ps file okay and mod mod means it's going to append the records at the end so mod is never used in projects because there is no control over mod because as and when you submit the job it's going to append the duplicate records at the end let's see the let's see and execute the this jcl we'll take this file this is an existing ps file i'm going to give share dcv and space are not required because it's an existing ps file i'm going to submit this max is zero and you can submit any number of times because output file is already present it's going to open it's going to delete existing records and copy input to output remember it is going to delete existing records let's open the, these two files in another screen so we have so here we have four records i'm going to press f3 four records so if you give disk equal to share it is going to delete existing records in the output ps file and copy whatever is present in the input to output same four records will be there it is going to delete existing records and it's going to copy input to output fresh suppose we give disk equal to old it is going to do the same thing but if we give disk equal to old it it requires exclusive access it will be expecting exclusive access for this file what is an exclusive access if you hold the file if you have an exclusive access you're holding the file when you're holding the file no one can read the data no one can open the file so when you submit this job while this job runs no one can browse the output file but in share it's a different mode while the job is running you can open the file simultaneously okay but right now since the job is going to run ex extremely quick we can't hold the file what i'm going to do i'm going to hold the file first and then execute the job i'm going to browse this file so i'm going to read in one screen in another screen i'm going to submit this job i'm going to say copy data from this file to this file so how it is going to work it is going to delete existing records in this ps file after deleting it is going to copy all data from in input ps file to output ps file so while deleting it will be requiring exclusive access but exclusive access cannot be granted because we are already opened this file in another screen exclusive access is not possible because we have already opened this file in another screen so it is going to wait this job will wait this job will wait until I mean until we release the file it is going to wait for a predefined time and then finally it is going to append with 522 522 means data set contention it is saying resource not available it is going to wait for resource for specified time and this time is based on the administrator setup it is going to vary I mean main frame to main frame and then it will append with 522 so don't submit after submitting job don't submit again you have to go and see what has happened basically you are holding the same file in another screen and the job is waiting for the resource let's see how how to identify how it is waiting for the resource let me submit this job the job id is created you know mainframe is very quick and keep on pressing enter you can see at the bottom i'm but it is not working 
okay don't assume the job is has not run don't submit again if you submit again it will be a duplicate job i'm going to submit again it is going to be a duplicate job why it is duplicate job because system cannot execute duplicate job name okay because job names are different it should be different okay it doesn't mean you can't execute more than one job you can execute plenty of jobs at the same time parallelly but make sure job name is unique for every job okay i'm going to give execute one more time with a different job name but this job is also going to wait okay i have executed three jobs let us go to spool and see what is the status okay so whichever is in white color is an execution so this is the user id okay forget about this user id when you log on this job will be running so we have executed three different jobs all these are ibgener okay so this job is in execution is running fine when it says execution on white color it's running but it has not entered because of some reason this is also an execution because it's a different job name you can give you can submit any number of jobs simultaneously make sure change the job name but if you give the same job name so here in this case because i submitted again it will be a duplicate job it is going to wait so execution in blue color doesn't mean it is executing now it is waiting okay it's waiting so once this job is over this job will start picking up this job will ex get executed okay but let's cancel this job it's a duplicate job i'm going to cancel by giving c okay so both these jobs are running and waiting for resources i'm going to cancel this job also okay don't execute any more jobs when you submit a job come and see the spool what has happened because main time is very quick even it executes complex program within a second okay so you have to come and see what has happened so you have to give question mark for inquiry okay if you have to see all these two or okay, all these three or all these two so jcsc will contain the jcl you have submitted you will not get any hints only if you have jcl errors you have to come and see here but there is no no other messages let's go to message log in message log it is going to give information like okay the fi file is on hold following reserved data set names unavailable dsn test.ps file 1. backup return code equal to 4 job this job name waiting for data sets why it is waiting because we are holding in another screen remember resources are shared across mainframe when you give disk equal to all it requests exclusive access and already we are editing we are having exclusive access two person cannot have exclusive access to the to the file sorry it's not here it's here and we are browsing the file it doesn't have exclusive access because someone is reading So what you are supposed to do, you have to come out of this file. Okay, now the job will run. Now the job ran and it is successful. Let's see the data. It has same data as input, four records. So disk equal to share or hold does the same thing. It is going to delete all the existing records in the output file, and it is going to copy fresh input to output. Okay. but this people do all request exclusive access now let's write mod what does mod do it's going to append the records at the end it is going to add records at the end so when now you submit it is going to add these records to the end let's submit once this output file is already having data so i'm going to submit once i'm going to f9 browse so we have another set of four records f3 F nine. I'm going to submit again. Max is zero. F nine. Browse again. So three times. This is one set, and second set, and third set. So what does display called mod do? Whenever we submit, it is going to add the records at the end. So we never use this in project because it's going to end up in creating duplicate records. Duplicate entries are not allowed. So hope you understood how to use display called world world border share. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please press like, comment and share.